Football is back. So we're gonna do the first 32 team imperialism tournament on Madden 25 to determine the best team in football. Here's the map, and the first team competing is the Detroit Lions. The way this works is we use the team wheel to determine which team is attacking. Then we spin the arrow to determine who gets attacked. So now we have the Lions attacking the Colts, and the loser is eliminated. Here we go, boys. We take you to the first game. It's under two minutes to go. The Colts are up by three. Detroit has the ball. I thought Jared Goff was black there for a second. I kind of scared the shit out of me. Okay. Detroit just needs a field goal. And we're going to go to overtime. Here we go. Under 40 seconds to go. Second and four. They're in the red zone already. They're, oh, nope. Fake it off. Oh, here we go. Laporta there at the one. Oh, my goodness. The Lions are really about to come back. Here we go. First and goal. Oh, a touchdown! What a throw by Jared Goff! Oh my god, I thought he was out of bounds. Wow! And we get to see the new kickoff for the first time. Oh, it looks so weird. Oh my god, I don't like it at all. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Here we go, Anthony Richardson. Can he lead the Colts to a comeback? What a throw! Where's the flag? Was it holding? Roughing the passer, they get 15 more yards. Here we go, two timeouts left inside the 30. The Colts need a touchdown. Richardson, oh, he gets the first. They call another timeout just over 10 seconds to go. Here we go, just outside the red zone. They call their final timeout at the 11-yard line. They need a touchdown. Here we go, three seconds left. This is the final play of the game. Can the Colts pull it out? Richardson, picked off in the end zone, and the Lions survive. So Detroit just took over all of Indiana. They have a big piece of land. You see a lot of spaces that are just white. Basically, those states don't have teams. So essentially what's gonna happen is be land there, you just claim that land. The next team that's gonna be playing is the Los Angeles Rams. And they're gonna be attacking to the Southeast, meaning that they have to take on the Chargers in a huge rivalry game. Here we go, under two minutes to go. The Chargers up by a touchdown. Rams have the ball, only have one timeout left. A screen. Oh, great screen. Oh, you got away for your blocks. Terrible read by Kyron Williams. That was bad. Stafford drops back. Across the... Oh, great defense. Third and ten. You need a touchdown. No field goals. Stafford drops back. Uh-oh. Just airmails it. Fourth and ten. You gotta get the first down to stay alive. Empty backfield. Can the Chargers get one more stop? They're sending some pressure. Picked off! Game over! Oh my god. Joey Bosa just sealed the win. So now the Chargers control most of California. And they have a big chunk of land. Next up, we got the Pittsburgh Steelers. Who are going to attack to the Northwest. And they're just going to hit Cleveland, which means we get a division rivalry game. And this is going to be a great game. Both teams healthy. These teams absolutely hate each other. Here we go. Tie game. 10-10. Steelers have the ball. They just need a field goal and they win. Picked off! Russell Wilson! He unloaded! It's a pick six! Oh my god, the Browns! Oh my god, Miles Garrett got to Russell Wilson! Oh my god. Here we go. Russell Wilson. Oh, what a ball! They still have one timeout left. A touchdown ties the game. Oh my god, they're gonna do it. The Steelers are gonna tie the game. They have less than 30 seconds to go. They're already in the red zone. Here we go. At the 17-yard line, can the Steelers pull it off? A bomb! Touchdown, tie game! Oh my god. After making an incredible mistake, Russell Wilson leads the Steelers on a game-tying drive. Browns do have 30 seconds left. Can they take the lead? Here we go. Cleveland is at the 42-yard line. A field goal wins the game for the Browns. Deshaun Watson's gonna take off. He gets the first. They still have a timeout left. Just under minute 30 to go. It looks like the Browns are gonna try to kick the field goal to win the game. Third and eight. They still have a timeout left. Right now, it's a 51-yard field goal. Nick Chubb got the ball! Fourth and one, they don't get the first down. And they call a timeout with five seconds to go. Here we go. This is for the win. The kick is up. And it's good! And the Browns take down the Steelers. Next up, we got the Green Bay Packers. And they're attacking directly south. Which means we get a game between the Packers and the Bears. The oldest rivalry in sports. Here we go. Both teams 81 overall. I'm a Bears fan. I'm hoping the Bears pull this one out. And this one wasn't close at all. The Packers absolutely annihilated the Bears. Oh my god. God, no. And just like that, the NFC North has a lot of land in the north part of the map. Next up, we're going to get the Philadelphia Eagles. And they're going to attack to the southwest, meaning they're just going to hit Cleveland. So we're going to get to see the Browns again. Here we go. Both teams in 87 overall. This should be a good one. And the Eagles absolutely blitz the Browns. This was not a close game at all. As you can see, the Eagles have a nice chunk of land, but that's not always a good thing. The Browns have already played twice. Most teams haven't played at all. And because of that, the Browns are eliminated. Sometimes having a lot of land isn't a good thing. Next up, we have the Dallas Cowboys, who are going to the northeast. And because of that, they're actually just going to take the state of Oklahoma. Now we get the Houston Texans, and they're attacking to the Southwest. Which, if you look at the map, doesn't make any sense, but so we're just going to have them attack the Cowboys because that's the closest team in the direction of the Southwest. So we get another really great rivalry game between the two teams in Texas. Here we go at the 31-yard line. 22 seconds left. Can the Cowboys pull off a miracle? 
Prescott, what a- th Oh, he dropped it! Oh my god. Brandon Cooks. Third and ten, 14 seconds to go. Prescott drops back. Oh, he's gotta find someone. He- Oh! He got hit as he threw! Oh, he still got it! CD Lamb! Oh my god, CD Lamb came back to the ball. Six seconds to go. Right now, it's a 53-yard field goal. Here we go. A field goal wins the Cowboys the game. It's up! It's good! And the Cowboys come back to take down the Texans. So the Cowboys have completely taken over Texas. They got a massive chunk of land down south. Next up, we get our first look at the reigning Super Bowl champs, the Kansas City Chiefs. And they're attacking to the Northeast, which means they get their shot at the Packers. The game that wasn't actually that close, the Chiefs fall to the Packers 34 to 31. And the Packers have the biggest chunk of land on the entire map. Fortunately for them, they're right in the middle. So we're down to our top 25 teams. This is what the map looks like. There's still a lot of extra space land that hasn't been claimed. Let's see what happens there. We're gonna get our first look at the Giants, and they're gonna be attacking to the north, which means they're gonna take on the Buffalo Bills. And this is another rivalry game, is this is gonna be a battle for New York. And the Bills defend home field and annihilate the Giants. Next up, we're gonna get our first look at the NFC champion San Francisco 49ers, and they're actually going to the northwest, which means they're not gonna play anybody and they're just gonna take over Oregon. Next up, we get another NFC West team in Seattle, and they're attacking to the southwest, which means they're gonna take on the San Francisco 49ers in another heated rivalry game. I forgot to hop in this one, but you didn't miss much. The Niners absolutely annihilated the Seahawks. 42 to 17. And now San Francisco controls the entire Pacific Northwest and has a lot of land up there. Next up, we get our first look at Aaron Rodgers and the Jets. And they're attacking to the Southeast. They're just going to take over this land right here. Next up, we get our first look at Kyler Murray and Marvin Harrison as the Arizona Cardinals are going to attack to the Southwest, meaning that they get to take on the Chargers. And again, I forgot to hop into this one, but the Chargers were dominating the Cardinals. They ended up winning 28 to 17, but it was not much of a game. So the Chargers continue to take up more land and both the Chargers and the Niners control the entire West Coast. Next up, we have the Eagles and they're attacking to directly east, meaning that they have to take on Buffalo to survive. And this is a game between two powerhouse teams. This should be a really good matchup. And the Eagles absolutely annihilate the Bills. Oh my God, 40 to 17. I just hopped in there because I wanted to see it. I haven't played a game yet, so I wanted to hop in and see how it felt. Feels a lot different than college football, but God damn, the Eagles smoke the Bills. And just like that, Philly's starting to control almost the entire upper northeast of the map. And the winner of this game gets their spot in the top 20 secure. And the Packers have to go on the road this time, going northeast, and they have to take on the Lions. So this is going to be a huge rivalry game to take over the most land on the entire map. Here we go, Green Bay, Detroit. Let's see what happens. And the Lions are gonna kneel it out and take down the Packers, wow. And the Lions almost control the entire Midwest and they have the biggest chunk of land. We're down to the top 20. This is what the map looks like currently. First top 20 matchup, let's see who it is. We're gonna see the Jets for the first time. And they're attacking directly north, which means they have to take on the Eagles. Two really good teams. Even though we've landed on the Jets before, this is our first look at them, so this should be fun. All right, so unfortunately, the footage for the Jets-Eagles game actually got corrupted. You guys didn't miss much. The Eagles stomped the Jets, so we're gonna do that right now. Next up, we get another look at the Lions. Shout out to MMG. And they're gonna attack to the Northeast, which technically means they're gonna take on the Eagles. The winner of this game is gonna have the most land on the map by far. Two of the best teams in the NFL. There's a lot on the line here, boys. And the Eagles are going to stomp the Lions. Oh my goodness, this was a blowout. And just like that, Philly easily has the most amount of land on the map. They're a huge target. Next up, we get our first look at Tyree Kill and the Dolphins. And it doesn't matter where this arrow lands. They're landlocked. So they have to play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is another huge rivalry game. This is a battle for Florida. Didn't get a chance to hop into this one, but Tampa Bay takes down Miami. What we're starting to realize is that home field advantage is huge in this. So there's a lot of luck in imperialism. And just like that, Tampa Bay controls almost all of Florida. And we're going to get to see the Eagles again. And they were attacking to the Southwest. And they're just going to hit Baltimore. More. This is a huge game because after this game, half of the teams will be eliminated. We'll be halfway done already. Two of the best teams in the game. This should be a good one. Here we go. Baltimore has the ball. Third and one. They need a touchdown to tie the game. Lamar drops back. Takes off. Finds his man. Oh, jukes him way out. Oh my God. He juked the wrong way, but he juked the hell out of that DB. Zay Flowers, my goodness. First and goal, just over 30 seconds to go. A touchdown ties it for Baltimore. They're wasting an awful lot of clock here. Lamar drops back. He's going to take off. Does he have the speed? He does. Oh, he got hit. Second and goal with a two. Lamar Jackson drops back. He's going to take off again. He's going to get sacked. Oh my God. The Ravens call a timeout. Third and goal at the nine. 17 seconds to go. Baltimore's got two more chances at this to tie the game. Here we go. Jackson drops back. Strikes. Got him! And the Ravens are gonna tie the game. We're gonna go to overtime. I went to Sim to overtime and the Ravens missed the extra point. Oh my God, Baltimore is gonna lose and Philly knocks off another team and they continue to dominate the Northeast part of the map. And we're finally getting our first look at the Raiders. This is the first time we've seen the Raiders and we've already seen half the teams in the league eliminated. And the Raiders are gonna go to the Southeast and they're just gonna hit Utah, which means they're not gonna play, but they are gonna become a bigger target. Next up, we got the Saints and they're gonna go to the West, meaning that they get to 
take a shot at the Dallas Cowboys. And with under two minutes to go, the Saints are driving. The game is tied. They just need a field goal to win. Derek Carr drops back, hits the check down. The Cowboys are starting to call the timeouts. I think the Saints are going to pull this off. This would be an incredible upset. First and 10 just outside the red zone. Let's see if they hand this ball off. They do. They're going to try to milk the clock out. They get a nice four yards. Dallas only has one timeout left. They need to stop. And they go back to the ground. And they're going to get a first down. And New Orleans can all milk the clock. Oh my goodness. They're really going to take down Dallas. Here we go. Seven seconds to go. Can the Saints win it? In Dallas. And they do. The New Orleans Saints come into Dallas and take down the Cowboys. Wow. And just like that, New Orleans has a massive piece of land. We're now in the top 15. Let's see who gets eliminated next. New Orleans is back on the offensive. This time they're going to the Northeast. And that's just going to hit Arkansas, so they're just going to get more land. And even though New Orleans didn't have to attack, they got more land. That makes them a bigger target. It's not necessarily a good thing. We finally get our first look at the Jaguars. They're going to go to the East-Southeast, which means they're going to take on Tampa Bay in a battle for Florida. And this is a huge rivalry game. These two teams, both in Florida, this is a battle for Northern Florida. This is going to be a good one. And Tampa Bay is just going to milk this clock out, and they're going to take down Jacksonville and win the battle for Florida. And just like that, Tampa Bay controls all of Florida. Next up, we get another look at the Niners, who are going to be attacking directly south, which means they're going to be taking on the Chargers, and the winner of this is going to control the entire West Coast. A California clash between the Chargers and the Niners. This is going to be a good one, boys. And in a huge upset, the Niners get curb stomped by the Chargers. Oh my goodness. And just like that, the Chargers have a massive amount of land and they own almost the entire western half of the United States. And there is no rest for the weary as the Chargers have to go on the road this time. And they're going to the north, which means they get to take on the Raiders. An AFC West matchup, two teams evenly matched. This is going to be good. And the Raiders clap the Chargers. Oh my God, we're starting to realize that home field advantage is huge. You don't want to get landed on. And now the Raiders on the entire west coast and almost the entire western half of the United States. You're really starting to see some teams develop. And the Raiders are in a good spot because there's not that many teams near that. We're going to get our first look at the new look Atlanta Falcons, and they're going to attack to the southeast, which means they get to take on Tampa Bay. Two teams evenly matched, division rivals, they absolutely hate each other. This is going to be another good one, boys. And up 16 in the red zone, Atlanta is going to come into Tampa Bay and blast the Buccaneers. And now Atlanta controls a nice portion of the map. And the winner of this game will advance to the top 10. It'll be the Raiders, and they're going to go to the southeast, which means they're just going to hit New Mexico and take over that. And the winner of this game is going to be in the top 10, so this is a huge game. Atlanta's up next, and they're attacking into the southwest and they're actually just gonna hit alabama so they don't have to attack they just get to take over more land third time's a charm the winner of this game secures their spot in the top 10 and it's the eagles and they're gonna be going to the southeast which means they get to take on division rival washington commanders we should be in for a good one boys tie game in the fourth quarter the eagles are driving they just need a field goal to win the game Hurts underneath. Hits A.J. Brown going up field. Oh my God, what a play. The Eagles still have all three timeouts. Here we go at midfield. They just need a field goal to win the game. Again, across the middle. They take their first timeout. Under a minute to go. I think the Eagles look like they're just going to keep handing the ball off and try to win the game on a field goal. And they are. That's their goal. Washington takes their first timeout. Third and inches. Our first down seals it. And the Eagles get it. Five seconds to go. For the win. And they got it! The Eagles come into D.C. and take down Washington. So just like that, Philly has a massive chunk of land. They just keep adding. They've kind of surrounded Cincinnati. This is the top 10 teams. This is it. You got Vegas. You got the Broncos. You got Minnesota, the Eagles, Cincinnati, Tennessee, Carolina, Atlanta, New Orleans, and New England. Which is so funny because of these 10 teams, we haven't seen half of them play. We haven't seen the Broncos. We haven't seen the Vikings. We haven't seen the Patriots. We haven't seen the Bengals. We haven't seen the Titans or the Panthers. We haven't seen six of the 10 teams that are still left play. This to show you how lucky imperialism is. Who will be the first team eliminated in the top 10? Let's take a look. Will it be Denver or will they get lucky? Let's see. Denver's going almost straight south and that means they get their shot at the Raiders. Two teams that are evenly matched, two division AFC West rivals. They hate each other. This is going to be a great game, boys. Although the final score was only six points, this game was over a long time ago. The Raiders defend home field and take down the Denver Broncos. Just like that, the Raiders own the entire western half of the map. This is getting real tense. And for the first time this video, we finally get to see the Tennessee Titans and they're going to be attacking to the Northeast, which means they don't even have to play. They're actually just going to take Kentucky. Up next, we get to see the Saints and they're going to be attacking to the Northwest and they're just going to miss the Eagles and they're just going to take the state of Kansas. And we finally land on the Minnesota Vikings for the first time and they're going to be attacking to the South, which means they don't even have to attack. They're just going to take Iowa. We're just going to get the Eagles again and they're going to be attacking directly South, which means they have to take on the Carolina Panthers. And surprisingly, with under two minutes to go, the game is tied. The Panthers have the ball. Field goal wins the game. Bryce Young across the middle. <sighs> Bad ball, Bryce. Triple Bs. No LeVar. Here we go. Third and six. Just over a minute to go. Bryce Young steps back. 
Uh, crush his body, a bomb! Oh! Oh my god. Fourth and six, the Eagles are gonna get the ball back with all three timeouts. The Eagles are gonna have to get a field goal. Can Jalen Hurts and Saquon Barkley do it? Let's find out. And the Eagles look like they just might be running this ball and trying to go to overtime. And they are. Third and seven, 20 seconds to go. I don't understand what the Eagles are doing here. This is incredibly dumb. Why would you run just to waste all this clock? You still have three timeouts. Are they gonna snap this ball with literally like no time left? Oh my god, they literally were in field goal range if they snapped the ball earlier. The Eagles absolutely befuddled that last drive. We take you to overtime. The Eagles have already scored a touchdown. The Panthers on first and 10. They need one to tie. Bryce Young in an empty backfield. He's got a lot of time. Oh, hits the check down. Oh my god, he's gonna get a first. Second and one. Just under two minutes to go. What the what was what was that? What the hell was that? Was that a fake pitch? Or was that a glitch? What did we just see? Oh my god, that was unreal. Here we go, third and six. Oh my god, they just let him get the underneath route? What the hell is going on in Philly? Just over a minute to go, Adam Thielen, nice catch. Carolina has to speed it up. Across the middle, oh, he just, I'm surprised that wasn't intercepted. Timeout, Carolina, they only have one left. Second and two, just under a minute to go. Bryce Young steps back. They're just giving him these underneath routes. First and goal, just under 50 seconds to go. A touchdown ties the game, and they don't have a timeout left. Here we go, under 45 to go. He strikes it! And he gets it! Oh my god. What a strike by the Panthers. Bryce Young to Tommy Tremble to tie the game. Under 40 to go. The Eagles just need a field goal to win the game. Hurts hits his check down. He holds on. They have a timeout. However, that was their last one. 35 seconds to go. Second and three. This one's coming down to the wire, boys. Hurts launches it! Got his man! The Eagles are in the red zone. They need a field goal to win it. Carolina does not have any timeouts. What the hell is that, Dallas Goddard? Golly, that was a disgrace to white people with that celebration. That's crazy. Unseasoned chicken. The Eagles, a field goal away from the win. Can they do it? Kick is up. And the kick is good, and the Eagles take down the Carolina Panthers in Charlotte. My goodness. 41 to 38, game over. And Philly just continues to add to its land. We have landed on the Titans before, but we have yet to see them play. But because they're attacking directly east, that's gonna change. And they're gonna take on the Eagles. No rest for the Eagles. The Eagles have been playing all day. Even though the final score was only eight points, the Eagles were in control the entire game. They just continue to add bits and pieces to their land. And just like that, Cincinnati has been surrounded. The Eagles are taking over the entire northeast corner of the map and for the first time we land on the cincinnati Bengals. now there's a chance we don't see them play the odds are yep see they're going to the southwest and that means they have to take on the eagles two evenly matched teams two elite offenses this is going to be a good one here we go a minute 30 to go the eagles are up by three cincinnati has the ball empty backfield for joe burrow can the Bengals tie the game let's see bro steps back hits the man right across the middle oh my gosh wide open the Bengals use their first time out they still have two left almost at midfield motion out Empty backfield for Burrow. Across the, my goodness. Philly is just letting him march down the field. What the hell are the Eagles defense doing? Empty backfield under a minute to go. Cincinnati still has two timeouts. They just need a field goal. Can't take a sack. Oh my God, that was a risky ball. Second and 10 for the Bengals. Burrow strikes a, oh, he gets it to his man. Call another timeout there at the 35. They're probably in field goal range. Now, do they go for the win, or do they play it safe? Give the Eagles the ball back. Third and two, Bro steps back, hits his man right away. Oh my God, the Bengals might score here. Oh my God, they're in the red zone with a timeout left. The Bengals, they might score a touchdown here. Bro steps back, he's got time, hits the check down. Still have 40 seconds to go, you have a timeout. Again, you just need the field goal, so you don't want to turn the ball over if you're the Bengals. Oh, no! 10 seconds to go if you're the Eagles. You needed that. Oh my God, that was the game. How do you drop that ball? With 10 seconds to go in a timeout, the Bengals are just gonna run it out and send this game to overtime. Oh my God, you needed that. For the tie. Drilled it. So we're going to overtime. Here we go, second and seven. The Bengals are already in field goal range. A field goal by the Bengals wins them the game. Problem is they're going backwards and that's not what you want. Not what you want right now. He hit, Burrow hits the check down. Oh my God, the screen. He's gonna get all the way to the 25. Zach Moss on the screen. Oh my goodness. The Bengals, a field goal away from the win. It's up. 
And it's good, and the Bengals come into Philadelphia and take down the Eagles. And just like that, Cincinnati controls a major portion of the land. And the winner of this game will secure their spot in the top five. We got the Atlanta Falcons. We're going to be going to the Southwest, and that means they're just going to take over Mississippi. We landed on the Raiders, and the winner of this game is going to secure their spot in the top five. And the Raiders are going to be going to the Northeast, which means they're just going to take over Idaho. Next up, we got the Raiders, but because they're attacking to the Northeast, they're just going to take over Idaho. And the winner of this game secures their spot in the top five. And we've got New England. This is the first time the wheels even landed on New England. And New England's going to attack to the north, which means they're not even going to play. They're just going to be able to take over some more land. Whoever wins this next game secures their spot in the top five. And it's going to be the Atlanta Falcons, who because they're attacking to the northwest, Atlanta is just going to hit Cincinnati. So the winner of this will control almost the entire east coast. And the Falcons come into Cincinnati and dominate the Bengals. And now Atlanta has the most land on the entire map. This is what the map looks like with the final five teams and this just goes to show how important and how lucky imperialism is both the patriots and the vikings haven't played a game let's take a look let's see who's going to be the first team eliminated in the top five will it be the raiders they're attacking to the south which means they're going to take on the saints this is going to be a huge matchup the winner of this will control the entire western half of the map and the most land on the entire map two teams evenly matched this is going to be a good one and the saints are going to defend home field even if the Raiders score a touchdown here, that was a terrible ball. The Saints are going to knock off the Raiders. They're going to own the entire West Coast. That is huge. And now we have the final four teams. The NFC South owns almost the entire map. We have the Vikings up there with a little bit and the Patriots. The final four, who will be eliminated next? Will we finally see Minnesota or will they get lucky again? They're going to go to the Northwest, which means they're going to get lucky again. They're going to take over North Dakota. All right, who's going to get eliminated next? Back-to-back -back Vikings. Will they get lucky again? Or will they have to play? They're going to the Northwest again. Oh. Oh my god, Minnesota, they're just going to take over Montana. So this is what the map looks like. There's only so much left that they can run. All right, will Minnesota get landed on a third time? Let's find out. They will not. We're going to get a team to play. The Falcons. And they're going to be going south. So because they're going south, I'm going to do some basic math. If I look at this, the arrow, it's leaning a little bit that way to the left. Well, that would mean they're taking on New Orleans. So the Atlanta Falcons are going to go to New Orleans. The winner of this is going to control like 90% of the map. Two NFC South teams, rivals, they hate each other. This is going to be a great game, boys. A minute 11 to go. A first down effectively seals the game. Third and three, no more timeouts. Even if Atlanta gets a stop, they're only going to get like 20 seconds left. And the Saints get a first down. They can drain the clock all the way down and kick the game-winning field goal with no time left. What are the Saints doing? Why are they snapping the ball? I mean, I guess it's working, but like you could just kick a game-winning field goal. What are you doing? The Saints call another timeout. What are they doing? Third and three. And they're not going to get a first down. So fourth and two, they have one timeout left. Theoretically, they should kick the game-winning field goal and this will be over. Here we go. For the win, it's up. And there's a flag. Oh my God, roughing the kicker. What the hell are the Falcons doing? The Saints decline it and they get the game-winning field goal. And just like that, this is what the map looks like. The Vikings have a little bit of the North. The Patriots have some land up in the Northeast and the Saints own everything else. We're down to the top three. Which team will be eliminated? We got the Saints next. This will be huge. They're going to go to the Southeast. Now, because of that, they're just going to take South Carolina because going to the Southeast would just line up and they'd hit this. Here we go. We're going to land on the Patriots. Now, will the Patriots get lucky? or will they have to play the Saints? Arrow is going to land facing Northwest, which means they're going to take on the Saints. Again, two teams pretty evenly matched. This should be a good one, boys. And the Patriots led by Drake May. We haven't seen them all video. They come into New Orleans, take down the Saints, and they have almost the entire map. The final two teams, the Minnesota Vikings, a team we haven't seen play yet, and the Patriots, a team we just saw play for the first time. I know the score of that last game was 24 to 17. Trust me, it was not a close game. So there's still technically some wheel spins or some arrow spins we could get to where we take land here, here, maybe even up here, but here we go. Who's going to be on the offensive? It's going to be the Minnesota Vikings. Now, again, they could get lucky and we could go to the Northwest, but let's see. Will the final game of the video be played in Gillette? It is to the Northwest, and unfortunately for the Vikings, the Vikings have to go to New England to take down the Patriots in their first game and the final game of the video. And if you made it to the end, what are you doing? You gotta sub. Let's get into it. The Patriots strike first, but the Vikings answer right back. We're going fast. Patriots strike again. Uh oh, the Vikings have to do something. We're in the second half already. In the fourth quarter, the game is tied. Under two to go. Let's hop in. Here we go. Two minutes to go. JJ McCarthy is leading the Vikings. They're down three. They just need a field goal, but the hit just. Oh my God, big hit. But Justin Jefferson holds on. Under two minutes to go. They just need a field goal, but a touchdown would win them the game. Here we go. A minute 30 to go. JJ McCarthy. Hits his receiver. Oh my goodness, he was wide open. Jordan Addison. They're inside the 10. Again, they just need a field goal, but touchdown would win them the game and the entire imperialism. McCarthy steps back. Fires. 
Touchdown! And the Vikings are an extra point away from a four-point lead. Oh my goodness, what a strike by J.J. McCarthy. I did not expect that. Here we go, at the 25, the Patriots need a touchdown. Drake May, can he lead them? What a strike, what a ball by Drake May. They still have two timeouts, just under a minute to go. Here we go, Drake May steps back. Oh, he's gotta get out of there. Oh, second and 10, Drake May drops back right across the middle, wide open. Oh my God, the Vikings have to do a better job than that. They use their second timeout, Juju's out there. I don't know why he got cut. They gotta update this roster. The Patriots are across midfield. They need a touchdown to win. Oh, fake the handoff. I thought they were gonna hand it off. A, a strike wide open. Oh my goodness. They're already almost in the red zone. What are the Vikings doing? Second and 10, May in the backfield. Need a touchdown. Got a lot. Of oh, he doesn't have time. The Vikings defense got to him. Third and 10. Here we go. Empty backfield. Drake May. They're bringing some heat. Find this man. Oh my God. They call their final timeout. They're at the two yard line. Are the Patriots going to march all the way down and score a touchdown in a minute? Empty backfield. Here we go. You cannot take a sack if you Drake May. Rifles it. Game! Oh my god, he got it! Drake May just let the Patriots on a game-winning drive. Oh my god. JJ McCarthy and the Vikings already almost in midfield. They just need a field goal to send this game to overtime. They still have two timeouts, so they don't have to go to the sideline. New England brings some pressure. He caught it. What a catch. Second and one, 12 seconds left. This is still a game. This isn't over. You're at about midfield. If you can get to the you know 35-yard line in the next two plays, you got yourself a chance. McCarthy can't take a sack. Rifles it across the middle. Hawkinson. They call their final timeout. Seven seconds left. And they're going to go for the tie. A 53-yard field goal. Let's see if they can do it. For the tie. Drilled it. And we're going to go to overtime. The Patriots have the ball driving. They just need a field goal. And the game is over. They're almost at the 40. They call a timeout. They have one remaining. They have one remaining. Here we go. May in the backfield. Hits his man. They get the first. Under a minute to go. They're at the 37-yard line. Right now, it's a 54-yard field goal. A score by the Patriots wins the tournament. And here we go for the game and for the tournament. Kick is up. And it's no good. Oh, my God. He pushed it to the right. The Vikings just need a field goal. They have one timeout, 17 seconds. If they can get to about the 40 yard line, they have a chance to take a shot. Underneath the Jordan Addison, 12 seconds to go. You gotta get out of bounds now. Here we go. Oh, he's got nothing. He's got nothing. He throws it out of bounds. Third and three, six seconds. If they can get to the 40 on an out route or something, they have a chance to keep a game winning field goal. Gotta be quick. Oh, he's gonna take off? JJ, are we really gonna end this game in a tie? Or do we go to another overtime? Oh, we go to another overtime, okay. Now, I don't understand. So if they kick a field goal, do they win or do they need to score a touchdown? Oh my God, it doesn't matter. What a throw by JJ McCarthy and the Vikings are in the red zone already. The Vikings for the win and for the tournament. Here we go. Kick is up. And it's good. And the Minnesota Vikings are the 2024, 2025, Madden 25, NFL, football imperialism tournament champions. My goodness, that's a mouthful. And here we go. Let's change the map. And just like that, this is what the map looks like. The Minnesota Vikings are the winners. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching this whole video. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. And uh, comment down below on your rebuilds. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. You know what to do. YouTube thinks you're going to like this video. Find out if they're right.